WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 23rd day of April. My pleasure to be here. I'm also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. So here is the Tiger Financial News noontime update. We're looking at the Dow of 280 at 23,756. After those two very sharp down days, these last two days of the big up move might be surprising to a lot of people, but I've been talking about how good the technicals are. So the picture will stay the same unless we start to trade below 22,800 over the next three to four sessions. Uh, in the meantime, nice rebound and uh, the same thing's happening in the S&P. The S&P at this particular moment is up 29 at 28.28. And uh, it too made a peak E just four or five days ago. And it's just consolidating at the 40 period exponential moving average. Daily chart on the left, middle chart is the weekly. You see all the resistance levels there at the black 14 period exponential moving average. Monthly chart needs a lot of work. The QQQ, NDX 100, which in a, in a sense kind of led the way up, is still leading the way up. At this point, it's up $2 at 212.95, um, just a little off the high that was made five sessions ago. But look at this weekly chart. That is really good action. Monthly chart, well, we'll see. We've got a couple of days to go before we get to uh, next Thursday's uh, end of the month candle. Let's look at the IWM, which today, once again, it rotates. All of a sudden, it's a leader up 2.22%, up 2.66 at 121.82, but still a very, very weak chart. But if the if the Russell 2000 over the next three weeks starts to show good relative strength, it could, in fact, become a bit of a leader for a change. And we're looking at gold. Gold has just been relentless on the upside. It's up again, $12, 17.51 in that rectangle that I drew. That's between, let's call it 1790s and a good support in the 1670s. Meantime, it's at 17.50, up 12. Nice action. Silver is also, I'll do more of this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Silver's not as good a chart, but it's still pretty good. Hey, look at the dollar. Dollar ran up nicely, now it's taking a bit of a breather. It's down 23 ticks at 100.12. Stuck in a range, making the, the Chapman wave lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. Hey, what about crude oil, huh? Crude oil is up $3.92 at 17.70 just the, the other day. The contract was minus 40. Maybe not. This, this is a continuous contract. Wow, crude oil. I'll talk more about it when we get back. So stay tuned for the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a couple of minutes. Hope to see you then. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for Technical Friday. I'll be back.